trying to hack into Eric's stream, but having trouble maintaining the connection, I'm trying to reveal the true secret behind the hint hunt and what is replacing One Piece live action, but I can't keep the connection. I'm going to try again. I think I know a way to get into Badonkagonk. So I'll see you then. What's going on? Hey, everybody. I think I just had someone trying to hack me. That was weird. I heard something about Badonkagonk tomorrow? Huh. Okay. You guys all here? Can you all see? Can you can you all hear? The hacking isn't complete, is it? Rick was trying to take over my stream. I know it. Hey, everybody. I don't know what happened. But... If you want to know what happened, maybe tune into Donkadon tomorrow. I don't know. Three o'clock, three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know what that was, but I know what this is. And today is more Jedi Survivor. Now I know that a lot of you saw the title of the stream, and you're like, "What? <laughs> but we haven't done everything." Well, I know. I get you. But today, I'm focused. Today, we're going to finish bounty hunting, and we're going to continue on with the story. We're going to see how far we get. If there's extra stuff, maybe we'll do a supplemental stream. Who knows? But right now, we're focused. We're going to trust the Force, and we're going to continue. <clears throat> I don't know what that Rick thing was about. All right, let's get started. We ended here last time with some bounty hunting. I always like whenever these textures pop in. 
pop in textures. Okay, I think they're good. I think they're nice and popped in. Uh, we are going to be heading out of here. <laughs> First thing we do is leave. Because, actually, we know what I need to do. I need to check on the status of my bounty. So let us. But yeah, there's just one left, it seems like. Let's go back and visit E. We're gonna fast travel and we're gonna make it back oh we are on kobo actually i'm not gonna make it back anywhere uh we need to go back to the settlement which i always get slightly messed up at when i'm at kobo here this is where the story wants to go at the alignment control center but we're not going there uh we need to go what let me just do this. go over here, and then we're gonna head up to the Pylon Saloon. I've been playing this game. This is my what 14th stream, and I still get confused on the fast travel map. <laughs> I still do. All right, let's go up and talk with Cage. What's Eric's next game gonna be? Hmm. Irish Nexus is right. It will be God of War Ragnarok DLC Bahala. I'm excited to get into that. It's gonna be fun. I'll let you guys know when those streams are gonna be starting. At a later date. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. All right, let's talk Cage. We foresaw Tolmo and the Hexian Brew to their final fight. Mm -hmm. Good. It's time to finish, finish it. Sork sent his very own arena champion, Joe the Cannibal, to the oh. Lucre Hulk with a gang of nasties as backup. The Lucre Hulk? How'd the Bedlam Raiders been cleared out? Actually, this is the fun part. Sork's champion has cut a deal with what's left of the Raiders. Okay. They're working together. Well, that's not good. All to bag of you. Let's see what you're really made of, eh? All right. Find Joe, a cannibal. Ah, I love a good bounty hunt in the morning. All right, so if we go down here, we're gonna go up. We still can't get to that third line, huh? Weird. Maybe. Nope, not gonna work. Okay, Joe the cannibal. J O W R one earned the. Moniker, Joe the Cannibal, quite literally. Every joy she finds or destroys, she takes a part of. Thus, Joe has built herself over the years into one of the most fearsome bounty droids in the galaxy. The trail of discussion Joe has left in her wake in order to create themselves is beyond the comprehension of most. All right. Well, that is over here at the yurt barracks. So we're going to be making our way this way. Uh, it is at the Lucra Hulk. So we're going to make our way to one of these fast travel points and see how we can get in there. All right. I think there's one thing, one little change I want to make too, because this is eventually coming to a close. Customization. Speaking of close. Poncho time. We're going into a bog. We gotta find which poncho. We're gonna do classic poncho. Uh, and the rest of the outfit feels pretty suitable for what I want Cow to do. Okay. That we're going poncho. And now we're going to the Lucre Hulk. Fast travel. Alright, uh we gotta go Let's see here. Age up and down. Okay. The bog, right? Isn't that where we want to go? 
with the bog. Yeah, okay, that's the closest we can get. Let's go to the loading gantry. A tree stream has been summoned. What? Let's see. Uh, Alex in Scotland got a tree stream for me. Thank you so much, Alex. So at a certain point, people will tell me whenever it's here, but I'll have to get up for a tree stream. Uh, let's see. We have a reading highlight message on Twitch, which is Mandalorian Dan. Hey, Eric, not having these streams each week will be strange, but I'm with you till the end of the line. I've enjoyed so much going through this journey with you. So thank you. And may the force be with you tonight. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Um, depending on how far we get, Aaron and I might even have a bit of a discussion during Badonkagon tomorrow about Survivor. So another reason you don't want to miss it. Okay, we need to head back. Oh, no. Yeah. No, not that way. We need to head this way. We're going forward, trying to find this direction. Okay. Let's go forward. Okay. We're ready. The thought of killing that Jedi is the only thing keeping us all going. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad I could be of uh, use, and we're gonna keep you going just a little bit longer. We're not sneaking around. We're going right in belly of the beast. Turn back or die. Oh, the beast's belly is strong. Buddy. <laughs> you must be Joe the Cannibal. How about you cut the theatrics and let's get this over with? Fat chance. And call me Joe. Sark Tormo sent me as his champion and contender is his fellow finals. Uh huh. Welcome to the arena, Jedi Knight Calcastus. Sounds like Sorks managed to find a lackey as deranged as he is. Yep, looks like. I thought. In that arena, you're not the champion until you faced everyone that set foot in that arena. All right, let's let a look around here. There is some stuff. There is some stuff here that we can try to get, um, including a chest above us. Where wants this to go? I just noticed this over here, so I thought I'd check it out. Oh. Okay, um, let's see here. There's that up there. Having a look, try to get my bearings here. Okay, uh, behind us, there should be some type of... Hmm. You hit that from here? Nope, I hit the right thing. Alright, that's down. That's open. And this is the chest. Commander material. Ooh. 
Have a look at the pants. Where's Commander? This is the Commander, and now I have different colors. Kind of cool. Ooh, that kind of matches our poncho a little bit with the uh, orange knee pad. Let's go with that for now. Nope. Not hit the right button. There we go. Ooh. All right. Uh, the direction we are going in now. And there is something to the right. Back down there. Raiders working with the Haxian Brood. Yep. Not liking that combo. I have a hard time moving around this map sometimes. Okay. Hmm. I want to find my way in. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to just continue on this Raider fight. Over that way. Let's go so show them how big we are. You slippery. All right, this one's gonna be a little tough. <laughs> I feel like the best thing we need to do uh, get out of this corner, but we gotta take out these droidicas. Alright, Jordy, cut her down. Three stems already. the rest off stop thinking about that three monster fight I had last stream all right wasn't the greatest Swing off. I can 
let's separate these two. Okay, I need to try to fight better and not use as many slams. Ah, I immediately got hit. Now that I'm in a good light, change up the customization. Keep with that. Matches a bit, but I do kind of like the black under the poncho, so I might go with a different. Uh, the pants. What was I using? I think I was using Wander. And yeah, we'll keep with Wander. I think that was cool. Okay. Let's save up here. Wow, that meditation point was discovered? Let's move, BD. Big boy up here. Try to overwhelm this guy as much as we can. Maybe we can use some of the blaster fire. Take these guys on if we can.
my, my dodges aren't going great right now. My parents, I need to work on the timing. Uh, I need to work on the dodging. BD. Okay. Got it. We got a live audience, BD. That was a battle. We're not even at the grand finale yet. All right, we'll keep moving this way. I'm assuming the enemies will let us know where to go. Gang could use some more wholesome hobbies. How do you like my army? I've fought the raiders and brood before. What makes you think this will end any differently? Because this time it's personal. Mm. We've beaten them before, and they're hungry for revenge, gentlemen. Failure is the greatest teacher, Ooh. but it sounds like you've learned the wrong lesson. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. This way. Oh. Maybe actually jump correctly and then we do it. <laughs> I remember this area. We need to jump onto these. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, then we gotta get on the back. That's right. If I can... Ah. Oh. Yeah, we fall here. Okay, that's right. Oh. Get in there! chance at revenge even if it means taking orders from the brood or the bounty on my head is too good to resist that could be a cow you know this isn't our first encounter must not have left much of an impression Ordo Eris, <laughs> when will these people learn to let a grudge go <laughs> This meditation spot. Glad we have him. All right, we're still heading over that way. We can probably go forward.
goes up on its own yes yay cool we got that my goal. So the brew can't let go of the past, huh? We never forget a monk. Besides, your little stunt at the arena left more than just a pile of bodies and bruised egos. You left a whole pile of juicy, cybernetic heats in your wake. Weird. That opens. How do I get that? I remember this at a certain point. Get over there from here. Only get in from over there. Hmm.
I thought I opened it. Can I just not get over there from here? Nope, can't get on there. Okay. Let's keep going. Still going. I'm assuming there's more here. Ah, up there. Blanky he sees me yet. How's that feel? Oh, it was okay. Got you down here. This way. Why are the, were these always here? Is this just to follow me a certain way? I don't think you're supposed to get through these. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna need to go this way anyway. It's just trying to funnel us. All right, buddy. This is the Haxian brood's best. Or whatever that's worth. But she didn't come alone. And I don't remember any rules on Ordo Eris. Mm-hmm. Things might get messy. All right, we got seven stems. Let's do it. Uh, Alex in Scotland, I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, you got a ref at least you got a refund for the tree stream. Uh, we'll look into it. I'll, uh, I'll try to tackle it tomorrow, see what's wrong with that. But thank you so much either way. The it's a thought that counts. Huh. All right, what we got? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Intruder. I need help. I know. Yeah. 
down. Wait, no, I might be able to get BD1 to hack. Show your power. I will break. You pay for that. Just stand there, please. Down. All right, my guy, get in there, buddy. Headless and everything. Is that all you got? Buddy, help! Uh. Go that way. The trick is, we're trying to use as little stims as possible. Yeah, I did open the shortcut, but I don't remember where it was now. Where was it? I don't want to go through all those guys again. There was a shortcut. I just opened. Where did it go? This one over here? Go this way, and I think we turn left through here. I think it's this way. Yep, sure is. All right, Keep that in mind. All right, let's get attacking as soon as we can. Should I detect it? The galaxy will know our story. Your skill is inferior. Ah, damn. Gotta be not 
that. <laughs> Gotta be not that. Is there a closer checkpoint? I think there is. All right, we gotta do this again. We're gonna take you out. Let's see if we can just run through as much as we can. Nope, not target. this way, not this way, this way. Ah! I don't have to run through, I gotta run this way. They shouldn't be able to follow me up here. All right, let's be a, lot, a little more smart than last time. Primarily fight the big guy. Just his swings are too bad, big to ignore. Too big. Hey guys, the excuse me. Uh, okay. He's on the move. Move forward and attack. Good luck. Alright, let's attack the big guy first. Giving chase! That's like I get hit with those. I'll never give in. to cage and be done with this whole bounty hunting yes. business. Get back to cage. 
All right. They don't want us going that way. Go up here. Hmm. Okay. This terminal will have to wait. Why? Ooh. Now it doesn't. Enforcer. Oh. Okay. Well, head back this way. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Yes, he is. This it's should take force. us back to the ship. Rest, fast travel. And by the ship, I mean Kobo. Okay, let's go to the saloon. Let's go find Cage. What's going on with Cage? Gone. Go here, though. Uh, we got nine of these, and we're just gonna start buying stuff out. Done. I'll grab this one. This one. All right. One left, huh? Uh, let's talk with some people too. Looks like we got a lot more. Hey, Toa. Okay. You mentioned things were changing at the academy before you left. Uh, it started when the Empire began dumping credits into our projects. Unlimited budget to fund our research. Great, right? But there were strings attached. Yes. We came under constant pressure from Imperial censors to conform to their propaganda. Anyone who did not play along? was pushed out in favor of stooges whose work would never stand up under peer review. No moth or governor wants to publish views that question imperial dominance. I mean, I understand. The censors have their own careers to think of. Mm. It's okay, Toa. You don't have to defend a corrupt system. No, I guess not. We'll talk soon. Have you ever miss the glory days, Cal? Cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. That sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Mutalinst. Mutalinst? Uh, no. Tell me. I don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of, let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes, and our vessel was marked. My elbow comes to shove, and we were boarded. 
I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so what do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, Cal, you cannot imagine. <laughs> I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost worked, too. But one pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. Mm. Oh, Cal, Cal, Cal. You're looking at a professional. I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munilinst work camp. Hmm? Good morning. See you around, Cal. The Empire. So afraid of what it cannot control. Culture is our shield, but to them it is a threat. Like what the Empire did to the Wookiees on Kashyyyk. Mm -hmm. So many traditions extinct. And yet, it might prove the Empire's downfall. An intelligent Empire would co-opt the cultures it conquers, wielding it against their enemies. This one is rigid, obstinate. When the right threat arrives, it will be unable to adapt to it. Hope so. Not hope. This is known. The only it is question no. is when. Mm. Now is not the time to speak. Barkeep, you look tired. Take a load off. I've seen some long faces. Yours is still the longest I've seen in some time. Am I that easy to read? No, you're positively inscrutable. I just happen to be an expert. Now, what's on your mind? I lost some people close to me. <sighs> Wounds still fresh. I'll bend an ear, if you're so inclined. If it wasn't for me, some friends of mine would still be alive. I doubt that. Most things in this galaxy are out of our control. What we can control is how we react to what the galaxy throws at us. Good advice, That's Mom. a very Gandalf piece of advice. To follow it. The dude, time is close. You're a good man, Cal. Better than most who frequent this bar. But perhaps that's not saying much. Despite what you may think, the galaxy isn't solely on your shoulders. And we all need a monk in our lives. Till next time, pal. See you when I see you. How you doing? <laughs> Turgle, what's up? Hiya. Hiya. Cal, glad you're here. Mm -hmm. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Mm -hmm. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Already sounding like a local. Oh, before I forget. I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're going to start mm -hmm. a hollow tactics table at Pyloons. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking. A piazza that size? Well, you just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. With all your expeditions, what keeps you on Kobo? Now, even though I've been here a bit, Kobo is still a wild land. The outer rim is the frontier. So much is completely unexplored. So it's the unique flora and fauna? Partially. But another big reason is that on the frontier, you can reinvent yourself. I could be an outlaw, making a fresh start, and you'd have no idea. Are you an outlaw? You don't know. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Talk soon. Oh, that's good. How are you holding up, Grease? I'm just, I'm, I'm so angry, you know? I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, me too. Later, kid. All right, let's go see why Cage isn't in her booth.
All right. Um, we need to figure out where we're going. The rumor. A couple of rumors. Devastated settlement. Wasn't it? Level? I guess we'll just go down to the meditation point down here. All right. Life regenerates up to a minimum amount. Yeah, just looking around this a little bit. We're rested, and we're gonna fast travel, and we're looking for where ages. remember this area and where does this put us so we need to go back a bit and down there okay I remember this uh, we're gonna need to take one of those flying guys right is there one up there down there. Oh, there you are, Cage. What are you doing here? This is where we first met. How's it going, Cage? Cow. Better. Now that you've taken down every hide gun that Silk Thomas sent off to you. Mm -hmm. Be good not to worry about bounty hunters for a while. Yeah. About that. <laughs> oh, what? That's a good trick. I was such a bit off. No. It wasn't. Are what you just trying to collect my bounty? How much did Sork offer you? <laughs> Not enough. But then, every hunter we took down drove your value up. Uh huh. Now you're worth my time. You're how they tracked us down in the first place. Now you're getting it, bud. I'm a I've been known to hunt about myself from me. time to time. Still, that was a big pool of contenders to carve through. Uh huh. I think you're the real deal, Jedi. Want to find out just how real? <laughs> Not too late to put this behind us, Cage. No chance. A girl's got 
depths. All right. And I've been waiting a long time for this payday. All right, Cal. Cage. Long time. You seen everything else I've done? But most this is of on all, you. I can't stand all this damn peace and quiet. We can fix that. Still good, yeah. We'll move. Ah, cool enough. Nah, -uh. really. Heal in time. I need to heal more. <laughs> My hubris. <laughs> uh, it is a cool character. I really like her design. Uh, uh. All right. Oh, cow, what are you doing? Why? <laughs> I was not going in that direction. <laughs> All right, I let my hubris get in the way. I was doing real well and wasn't thinking about. I get over there. The shiny, it got me. I can do it. I want to get it. Uh, I think I can do it. Can I? Can I? Let me do it. I want it. I want that. Ah. I can't. All right, Kane, let's go. Let's go. All right, I need to wait on that shot. I need something, buddy. Damn it. Take nothing. Fuck. I should use double blade and try to get those shots back to her. I'm actually kind of happy by this because. When I was in that first version of the fight with Cage, I thought, oh, Cage is going to be a little too easy, but Cage isn't easy, and that's how it should be. Again, that's my hubris talking. Speaking of hubris. I got, I got it. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, stop hurting. 
Such a brutal takedown. <laughs> Woo. Man, that was nuts. Happy the fight has lasted this long just to see that. What a brutal takedown. and that stuff comes out real quick that's great all right eric play better you can't finish the game if you can't beat cage Is not how you focus. <laughs> Fight me. Oh. Got a little strength. Just uh, <laughs> no. right in here. Give me my help. <laughs> I am doing so poorly today. is not going to be my friend here.
Yeah, I'm sure you can force push them back. They just come out quick for me. I know there's a lot of evidence to the contrary, but again, I am not a great gamer. I pose. <laughs> I'm stubborn. This is not too far. I guess it makes sense. This is the finale to the, the bounty hunter saga here. I am. I activated cage before I. Okay. Thanks for the ride. Help. 
what you'll die for. It is. <laughs> These guns are so cool. Damn. Last chance, Cage. Walk away. That's not how I play. Another, another round? Was that? <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, are you here for my bounty? Bova. Bova! Looking slick, buddy! Oh, wow. oh, it's Tim. Do you two know each other? We go way back. Polynesian spa. We're bringing this Jedi together. More. Split the bounty right down the middle. He ain't no, here no, for me. For <laughs> no, it feels good not to be the target for once. <laughs> we have no idea how valuable this woman is. Oh, damn. Well. When you put it that way. Listen up! Stand off. There's two kinds of people in this galaxy. Those with live thermal detonators and those without. I trust you boys can do the math. <laughs> PD1. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Very well. See you around, Jedi. Who do we get? He just hold that. Out of retirement. Cage Banta defeated. Cage betrays Cal, revealing that she altered the brood. She alerted the brood to Cal's presence on Kobo. After a duel, Cage is immobilized by Boba Fett, who has tracked the bounty hunter for unknown Hey, look at this. Reasons. Boba Fett. Boba Fett tracks Cage Vanta down on Kobo, but does not pursue Cal leaving a sense of lingering unease between the two as he departs. Well, he hasn't departed yet. And we can talk with him. Keep moving, Jedi. And turn my back on another bounty hunter? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. In case it hasn't clicked, Cal, this guy's not exactly a fan of Jedi. <laughs> That would be an understatement. Which begs the question, why team up with one? We had a common enemy, Cage. You. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake, we are not allies. I know, Jedi. I know what you are capable of. And I do not pity your fate. Yeah. What do you want? I'm curious. How do you two know each other? A lady never tells. Our circle is small. Many choose the bounty hunting profession, but few survive. The cage never seems to die. No, she doesn't. But a bounty will fetch a handsome price. Once Sork learns your role in taking down the Haxian brood, mm -hmm. who knows what'll pay for you? Listen, Boba, if credits talk, let's talk. My client's pockets are far deeper than your scum. You wanted to play this game, Cage. This is your reward. <laughs> We're done here, Jedi. Hope we never meet again. Got the message loud and clear. Leave me be, Jedi. Uh. I'm just taking in the view before I take in my bounty. Suit yourself. But you're looking right at me. 
I mean, Cal is a hell of a view. And Mando helmets sometimes do have 360 degree uh, view. So he could be looking at the view, but looking right at me at the same time. All right, that's all the dialogue. What would happen if I just attacked him? Oh, not, I will honor what he did. Just leave me alone. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Uh, I saw uh, at least one super chat. No, I think there was actually two while I was playing. Depth 217, the super chat with the hat, boots, blasters, and love of violence. She reminds me of a certain Duros who strolled into Freetown. I keep my nose out of your business if I will. Uh, awesome Osman. Boba Fett, that's Tamira Morrison. Glad they put him in this game. Great moment right there. Yeah, fantastic moment. I had no idea. That was great. Um, and then I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything on Twitch as well. Looks like we have a highlighted comment here. Hello, and, whoop, I lost it. I lost it. I lost, here you go. Hello, Eric. Uh, subscriber from the UK here. First watched your reactions to The Punisher a few months ago, and I've been a fan since. Got a quick question for me. Have you guys thought about reacting to any British shows? Uh, Peep Show, Inbetweeners are two examples that I would suggest. I've actually seen the Inbetweeners TV show. I quite like it. I watched that like years and years and years ago. But, uh, you yeah, know, there's always a chance and make sure you're filling out your recommendations on the website. Okay, we have done that. I... I want to go over and get that. How do I get there? Hmm. Stay away from him. Maybe out here, let this take us up. Like this. Uh, I don't know if I can get in that one. Yeah, we can. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's some height. Now we should be able to get to it. A whole pack of enemies over here, too. Get a BD. Flawless. Harmonies. Cool. All right. Well, that is that. Uh, I guess we can probably go back to the saloon, but we have something to do here. Ode. That was a lot of fun. Fast travel. Go back to the saloon. <sighs> was there another highlighted message that I missed? I'll try to find it. My Twitch chat only goes up so far, sorry. I think I might have missed it. Sorry about that. I have a very limited view of chat. For good reasons, but unfortunately I can't find it right now. Okay, let's go back up and see if there's anything... Anybody talks about Cage, but at the very least we can get that last collectible. Oh, there's a pizza at the door. Okay, I will be right back.
We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. How many pizza? But Alex? Oh, well, thank you so much, Alex. I guess the issue was Subway, huh? All right, I'll have a bite and we're going to get back into it. Mm, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see. Tyler Knight Official. Hey, Eric, this isn't Star Wars related, but I saw in your last stream someone recommended The Iron Claw, and I can't agree more. It immediately earned a spot in my top 10 greatest movies of all time list. It's a perfect movie, and I hope you guys react to it as soon as you can. Much love. May the force be with you. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and then Jazz Saber Super Chat. Hey, Eric, I saw in the Shogun reaction you said that you started playing Ghost of Tsushima. Incredible game. I hope that you love it as much as I did. Yes, I have. I actually paused playing it while I'm doing Survivor. Uh... Because, I don't know if you guys have this, but I personally have a hard time switching between games sometimes. So, once I'm done with Survivor, I might go back to playing Tsushima in my off time. Hey, Cap, Good to see you. All right. Mm. We just have this tempting. Fire. This will be useful. All right. The bounty hunter saga is over. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> I'll always be reminded of my mom whenever I hear anybody say, How you doing? She loved Friends. She loved Joey on Friends. And she loved saying, How you doing? Absolutely loved it. I've been talking with these guys for a while. For once, you're not in a joking mood. A lot of change is coming to this outpost. And in our experience, change is no laughing matter. I mean, unless it's you changing your outfit. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's no laughing matter. The last big change here was when the cantina's old owner kicked the bucket. After that, we never felt like we belonged. The mm. last of an old breed. The only good thing was the influx of new, more ridiculous chumps to make fun of. Chumps like you? <laughs> what a chump! <laughs> Those guys are like the two Muppets of the theater. Something you need? Eh. Eh. Oh, hello there again, Cal. Hello. It is good to see you. You too. Is this the home you were talking about? Correct. Within there are some possessions. I don't suppose they will need them anymore. So feel free. Look around. Are you sure? I have no need for them. For your help, I insist. In this building? Huh. Ooh. And I really like this outfit, but I am not a fan of the one sleeve and bare arms. I kind of wish it could be one or the other. Or maybe you could toggle it. I might use this one if it weren't for that. Towers. So guys, you raider killer. Yeah. Heard you cleared out that watchtower. You heard right. Not bad. I didn't think you could hack it. Let's just hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Ooh. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. 
Yeah, I know. How do I get there? Um, there's this. What does that do? Okay, I got it. Go point, cool. Ah, do see way. Let's show this to Z. Uh, there's still some stuff around that I can maybe try to pick up real quick. Then. I imagine I need to connect that over here now. It won't shock me if it's electrified. Ooh, we got. Swoop Blaster. All right, cool. Open chest here. Come on in, look around. That forced in there. Or is that just the marker? It says unopened chests. I've opened this. Hurries okay. ever tell you the story of how we met? No, let's hear it. Oh, he first landed. Talking dreams of taking over a cantina, I pegged him as just another prior ripe vulture. Someone who comes out of nowhere, turns a credit from a few suckers, and skips town. Of course, when I saw him putting real care into the cantina, well, I knew we were cut from the same cloth. Hmm. Hyloons is as important to him as the Mantis. That's why he named it after his great-grandma. That's right. You stick with Grease. He's one of the good ones. Just don't tell him I said that. Your secret's safe with me. Ah! We're going to continue the story. I've really daddied enough. enough. Uh, we're going this way. Get him! 
Are we finally going down this way? Is that where it's wanting us to go? Yeah, it would seem so. A lot of chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Huh? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. <laughs> Welcome. I am Centauri Cree. The director of this experimental facility. Uh -huh. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turgle? Maybe not. not. Turgle? Let's we'll stop save down moment. here. <sighs> oh, purge troopers. What are they doing? Yeah.
guys just fucked it. Didi, them here. Okay, turn off. <laughs> Wish I could turn it off. Save it. Alright, is there any opening this? Doesn't seem like it. About the Alignment Control Center, with a subterranean monitoring system, state-of-the-art security for its day, and an observation deck, the Control Center served as the nerve center of the research and experimentation on Kobo. Its primary purpose, however, was the alignment of the various arrays throughout Kobo and its moon. Upon alignment, the Republic's experimental wave technology was capable of dispelling Kobo matter. Okay. All right. Ooh. I finally figure out what to do this in this room. Promising. Rumor completed. All the arrays are online. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to activate them. We must have locked down the facility when they evacuate. That's not gonna stop us. They're gonna stop us. Let's go. There's a chest there? Chest? Sorry, detour. <laughs> Detour. Have I walked by a chest there the entire time? On chest. What have I walked by? Um. Okay. something that I need to do with exploration. Let's keep going. I'll need to find a different way. Different way? Oh dang! I hit this before I left here. Okay. I need to find a different way. Hmm. I 
I need to plug in my chat screen real quick. Die. Should be good. Okay. Trying to be a little more thorough here to see if there's anything I've missed. Oh, right here. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. Got it, okay. Go on, BD1. I'll need to find a different way. Erase when we're in position. Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Back to the mantis, buddy. Yep. And we go through the abyss. Mm -hmm. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. Uh, what an elevator. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think we're slowing down. Let's stop for a moment. Let's stop. We'll uh, use our skills on stances that we don't really use, but we'll do it anyway. Definitely will be a uh, fun stance to do another run in. Just really like my stances. 
I just it highlights one thing I don't like, which is where Cal holds his lightsaber at. Sabers too far down for my liking. We gotta get to the ship. Doing pit droid. Good. Over here, is he anything to say? Hey, Grease, you all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? I'll be here, Cal. All right. Uh, oh, Marin. Are you ready to go? Just about. When we confront Bode, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. Droid, try not to get Kel in too much trouble. Time to go. All right. Analor. Is ready for a bumpy ride. You're active. Cal, is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. All right. think is taking Z so long? Dagangara was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. <sighs> hey, great pep talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. That, that good? Or did we destroy the system? I do not.
was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And scary. I'll bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Now it's an obstacle course. Oh, at least I don't have to jump through it like those horse tears. Oh, we can't go slower, huh? We can't. They're coming too fast. But you are faster. Yes, Grease. Stop piloting. And start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? We trust you. Safety for speed. Exactly. We trust We're all you. In on you buddy. You're right. Yeah. It's my ship, ain't it? It is. Greasy does it, baby. Oh, he does it, Greasy. Holy crap, Grease. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is it me, or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The overloading. Uh, well. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump in a hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man that's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Let her. That's great. Now. <laughs> we heard Seer. Seer's with us. If she can keep up. Son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. <laughs> huh. uh, wow. I hope it's worth it. Yeah. I don't know. Code called Purge Troopers. We'll see. The Abyss! Piloting through the very heart of the Kobo Abyss, Grease at last. It's just, it's just everything is off, okay. Alright, Analore. So, oh, this is it, Tantalor. You and Mara be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. Later. All right, Haven's Edge. Republic droids. Now obsolete Republic droid, falling during the battle, the Nihil invaders of Tanalor. The droid gave a valiant defense of the planet. Nihil. I don't know if we'll be able to find Uva here. Scannable object over this way, too. I'm assuming it's that column. Is 
certainly a beautiful planet. Jedi Meditation Spot. Overlooking a natural vista, Jedi of old often frequented this spot to clear their minds and find calm within themselves. Well, the meditation spot should be over here. Very beautiful. So this is Tanalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. Ship down there. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. <clears throat> Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. Uh, and that little girl. Is there anything wrong? Buried invasion. The unexpected invasion of Tanalor forced the Order to flee their new sanctuary. How the Nihil discovered Tanalor remains a mystery. Hmm. This is Nihil, huh? I would say. Alright. keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Yes. Good. I like that. Seer won her battle. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Hmm. Uh, Rancis. The Jedi, le led by Dagon Gera, make their last ill fated stand against the invading forces. Oh, Master Rancis, if that's how you say his name. Uh. Just notice I can. Hawk over here. Is there not on the map? He's just extra space to, to walk, maybe. Rancius. Mm. 
sure there's nothing over at the headhunter. Man, what a cool ship. Ceremonial Fountain, tri-pointed water feature built to symbolize the three core pillars of the Jedi Order, the Force, Knowledge, and Self-Discipline. Jedi strive at all times to gain mastery over all three. Do you hear that? Gotcha. Hot is here. So haunting. All your friends oh so high when the sky is clear. I can sense your need. Star silent in the sky. How what? Hmm? Hello, one Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry, Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? <sighs> okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. Dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? Under of Kata's force They're sensitive. Very pretty. Beautiful. Oh. Kata! How did you get here? It wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah. I have a good pilot, that's how. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. And I will decide what's best for my family.
Sorry, uh, I don't know why I press those buttons. Uh. Oh, man, I want I want to like it, but you don't uh, you don't hit BD one, all right? You don't hit BD one or Space Hamster. You know you.
focus on your daughter. Mode, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, oh, Just Papa. listen, man. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. chances, man. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too. I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Much of this has changed, Cal. You had to hit me with the force theme there, did you?
Papa. Saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready for what comes next. through the darkness. Ah. Uh. Ooh, man. That was so much more emotional than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god. Hide her through the darkness. That was so incredibly sad, but inspiring to watch that little girl go through a very emotional moment give her father her her comfort like her toy for whatever journey he's gonna go on from here and it's it feels like she's lost her childhood maybe Marin and Cal can help her 
Jordan with a super chat. What do you think of the idea of some of the rebels that show up in episode nine during the call for help that they came came from Tantalor? It's an idea. Yeah, uh, I want more uh, material around the sequel trilogy. Uh, the prequels benefited from it so much, and uh, I want to continue that tradition. That would be cool. All right. Um, I'm assuming if I hit close here, it'll take me to whatever comes next, if something comes next. Well, it's not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Make a nice cantina. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. Mm -hmm. And build a saloon. Yeah. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. <laughs> this belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? <laughs> Hope she likes salt. Journey complete. You have reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored. There may yet be secrets left to discover. New Journey Plus is now available from the main menu. All stances and cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked, along with some new perks and lightsaber colors. Any skill points will also carry over to your new game. Wow. I'm immediately start doing that <laughs> uh new journey plus three perks purity grants a massive increase in weapon damage for both friends and foes warrior places standard enemies with new replaces uh standard enemies with new more difficult combat encounters and trendsetter randomizes your cosmetics on death huh that's interesting All right, I don't think there's anything. Eh, there's some stuff on Kobo over here. Yeah, let's go get this scan. Before we leave. All right. Man, that was crazy. Uh, all right. I have some super chats here, at least one. Nope, we got two. Okay, Carl. Okay, what's up, Carl? With Stim Osman Amusen gone from Respawn, I hope the third game is just as good as this one, or exceeds it if he directed the hell out of this chapter. He did direct the hell out of this chapter, you're right. Uh, I mean, look, a lot of people work on these games. Obviously, uh, uh, you know, the main game director is one of the most important parts, but a lot of love in the crafting a game like this. Um, and they have a lot of options in terms of the story and then 12 cat what's up 12 cat uh loved the game so much i hope the next game starts with tanalore having a huge city like the one on jetta and rogue one what do you think yeah uh i mean that would be great i mean it is kind of like an isolated area that we could be free of other galactic events but i mean one of the reasons cow got rid of the plan of, you know, getting all the young force sensitives and recreating the Jedi Order is because we don't want to put them in danger. And now we have this little girl that needs our help and she's in danger. So Al's confronting that destiny again. But 
a cool location. Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Last B. Faced with the imminent abandonment of the planet they toiled to reach, Agon and Centauri make a final impassioned plea that I counsel. Uh, Devon Shu says... The Super Chat got here just in time to catch the end. It's been lovely watching you experience more Star Wars as always. Thank you for the streams. Looking forward to more Bad Batch. Thank you. Where is that for second? Down. Let's look. Find something, buddy? Jedi Order Edict. Jedi Edict on the foundation of the temple on Canalor. The Jedi stand ever ready, watching over the galaxy. All right, so Tantalor is 100% explored. Uh, and two out of two collectibles. Oh, there is an echo here. That's not true. So tough for Cal to hear. <laughs> a lullaby. The recording of Odakuna singing a lullaby to his daughter, Ata. sings the lullaby ghost star and dedicates a revised final line to his wife hey yala and he lost her it changed him he was like oh i gotta get out of here <laughs> i gotta get out of here <laughs> seen in terms of like an alien life like 
can scuba fish. Like, that's, he's gonna really want to fish, you know? New fish he's never seen before. I don't think there's any here, but just making my way back the long way, just in case. Well, now that we're done with the story, what do we do next? Obviously, I'm not done with the game. There's still a lot to do, but we're done with the story. Uh, and I'm not going to 100% the game, uh, certainly. Not on stream, at least. Um, but there are other things to do, and we do have maybe another stream in us or so in order to uh, try to get more done. Um, we still got 15 minutes left on this stream, so let's head back, I think, to Jeddah. Get a grip about what we're gonna be doing to round out this reaction Let's Play series. I think that it's also going to be I may be to put away the poncho. I wear something different. I don't know what yet. It's a time of reflection for Cal. I like these pants. I don't have the colors on them. cool color yeah I think we might go Outrider Ash Rindar look it's a dark survivor shirt let's see oh the shirt not the jacket uh, shirt. Yeah. Really cool. Very, uh, Luke looking with the Jedi Order symbols on there. I don't like this sweater look. Yes, extremely Kyle Katarn. <laughs> and in celebration of Dark Forces, we'll wear this for now. Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Mm-hmm. Time to see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my luck. It is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair enough. Uh, Corvus says, would you want Ogdo to somehow return in game three? I mean, it would be like a glaring hole now if we don't have Ogdo in another one of these games. Otto wasn't one to speak, I understand. Hmm. All right. 
We're heading to Kobo. Bound for Kobo. Connie, you're gonna love Kobo. What's it like? Oh, lots of waterfalls. <laughs> Everything grows there. It's great. And, oh, yeah, yeah. How could I forget Pailoon Saloon? I'm the owner and proprietor. <laughs> Is there music? Yes. And they love to take requests. Okay. I hope they have Trandoshan Funk. That's my favorite. <laughs> Trandoshan Funk. I need to hear it. <laughs> We're here, Cal Parsons. Dialogue with her again. What about us, Marin? What about us, Cal? <laughs> I can't go back to the way things were with us. Nor can I. But things are not so simple now, are they? Were they ever simple? Perhaps not. But we will figure it out. Together. I am staying here for now. Okay. Always something to do, huh? Mm hmm okay, so... Oh. Ooh, that was kinda good. Yeah, cool outfit. All right, okay, um, well... What do we got? We have rumors. We have collectibles. Um, apparently, Force Echoes with Bode that we can maybe try to uh, find. So I think this was what this is what my plan is going to be. I am going to, in my off time, my sh you know uh, while I'm not streaming, I'm gonna go around and start just doing like uh, like I'll get like these unseen scans and stuff. Probably, and then we'll do the rumor. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I don't, I don't know if I have it in me to do like a bunch of more extra streams. So I try to get like all of the content. I want to do like one more major stream, so I won't do Force Echoes. I'll just do like uh, mainly picking up the little things off stream, and then I'll try to save most of the other big stuff or what I think is going to be big stuff for stream. Um, there's still other stuff that, to do. I'm at a loss right now just because it was pretty gnarly and... Wait, is there a chest back here? Where's that chest at? That... What's this? Yeah, there's a chest right here. Bomber material. Hey, it's what I was going for. Oh, this guy. Also, looks good. I see it from behind. I like this. That's a cool outfit. Bode, it's so good to hear from you. I feared you might have slipped your leash permanently. What is your current location? Outer Rim, Kobo. But keep your people out of here for now, understand? We're headed off planet to meet her. Impressive. And where is she, exactly? Wouldn't you like to know? Call it a contingency plan. You are my hair on Kata's head. And I'll make sure Seer Junda stays hidden forever. Leash. Code reports to Denvik. 
after locating Seer Junda. He keeps her location a secret, however, as a contingency plan, ensuring his leverage over Dinvik isn't lost. For now. Where Bode used to park his ship. Does he suspect you? Not a chance. I wouldn't have survived the purge if I couldn't become someone else. The rest of the crew is gone. I know the kind of friend he needs right now. You always excelled at the art of disguise. Disguises! Bode reports to Denvik. Sharing an update on the fate of the heist crew. Denvik can dims the success, commends the success of the mission so far, which Bode credits to his ability before enduring the Jedi Purge. Find seeds like that. Yeah, Billy. I need I'll to do garden stuff you. too. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that off stream this weekend. Babies. Okay, I'll look. Rattler egg. Typically, Relters do not leave their eggs unguarded for long. However, with the rise of the Bedlam Raiders on Kobo, the valley ecosystem has caused Rattlers to fly further and longer for your food. Rumor is this defeat the vile bile maw. Guys, want to fight a bile maw to end stream? Do that. We're gonna track that, and then we need to get probably to this meditation point. Fogged expanse, so we can probably get over there relatively quick. Let's do that. Seeds. Hmm. Seeds. Let's plant them and ask Peely for info. Hey! Isn't it called fog something? Did I miss it? Is 
Here it is. This is where we started today's stream. I am going to do this battle, but I need to use the bathroom one more time and then we'll get to it. Awesome awesome man with the super chat. Thank you so much for playing this game. I'm excited for the next chapter. My next title's guess is Star Wars Jedi Redemption. Force be with you. It's a cool idea. I was uh, thinking during the credits, if we end up taking on a mentor role, it could be Star Wars Jedi Master <laughs> or something like that. It'd be kind of fun. All right. These seeds would do well in the garden. Let's talk to Peely about it. Great find. Are these all seeds? So
Can't go this way. Um. Okay, I need to go down. Regurgitative acidic discharge from a standard biomall is well known and well feared, yet it pales in comparison to that from this beast, known infamously on Kobo as the Vile Biomall. Uh, far angrier and far more belligerent than any other biomall, its bile is said to be able to even melt through ferrocrete. Right. That's the most nasty. Arrow. Oh, we beat it. No scanning, I don't think. Nope. Yes. And we come out right here, I guess. Port cut unlocked. Right. What else do we got? Anything else over in this corner that we can do? These are four stairs. That's the chamber entrance. A lot of stuff over here. There's still another... I think I have one more Jedi Meditation Chamber to find, too. Okay, well, that was the Bioma. I'm going to make a, uh, a plan of attack for next stream. That will be on Monday uh, at 6 p.m. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll be doing more. I'll be trying to get all of the stuff that we think is streamable on the next stream. That will be our goodbye to Jedi Survivor. Um, anyway, tomorrow, we're not going to have a goodbye, but... Now that I've finished the main story, Aaron and I are going to have, finally, a little bit of a chat about this game, the characters, uh, the events, the feelings, the emotions, all that good stuff. Um, it's been a little bit of a t time for him, so he's had to wait, but it's going to be fresh for me. So make sure you guys are coming back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for talk about Jedi Survivor. We're going to be talking about Catalyst, the Rogue One novel. We're going to be talking a bit about Bad Batch, and remember at the very beginning of stream, there's something strange happening with Gonk. Someone's trying to, someone's trying to hack our droid. I don't know what's going on about it, but you're going to want to find out tomorrow, right here on Wave Squadron. All right, everybody. Hope you had a great time, and we'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.